me to swat him there. So we're doing a match the hatch game today. I did a quick little bug screen and I've got squala nymphs and golden stonefly nymphs, summer stonefly nymphs. They're all trying to make an escape here off my bug screen. They're doing a pretty good job because these critters are good crawlers. But one thing you might notice is they are pretty yellow when that sun is shining on them. Um, there's a little bit darker nymph there. That's a big mayfly nymph. Uh, but most of these stoneflies that you saw crawl off of there, look at that. I mean, they have a pretty gold belly right there like that. So I'm going to show you. Here's another big guy going this way. I'm going to grab him, and I'm going to show you one of the patterns I like to imitate these. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I've got a few of those stonefly nymphs in my hand right here. It's kind of weird. They're wiggling around, but I'm going to show you also in my hand is one of my favorite imitations, and it is a golden stonefly nymph tied by a company called Solitude. And it's just a fabulous pattern. It's got a tungsten bead on it. These stonefly nymphs live down in fast, well-oxygenated water. And uh, what you'll notice about these, one, they're good crawlers. Holy moly. We, get, we don't have time to get these things in focus. But you can see that their bellies are very light colored. I'm having a hard time keeping them in my hand here as you can see. But let's just go ahead and look at the belly of one of those as best you can. Sorry, we're not the Discovery Channel. We're not going to get perfect video, but um, let's, uh, yeah, I'll just let them crawl around for a minute and do my best to keep them there. But uh, I'll show you the pattern. It's in my hand there as well. And that golden stone, although when you're looking at this thing in the fly shop, it looks pretty bright. Um, when you put that thing down in the water and you put that golden stone, say, six feet underwater, four feet underwater, it's not as, it's not as bright when it's down there. It just kind of gets doled out. But that gold belly on these stoneflies is well imitated by this golden stonefly nymph from Solitude. And uh, the back is a little bit dark. Uh, I know a couple of guys that will take this pattern, which is a little bit darker on the back where the wing pads are. But they'll take this pattern here that you're seeing in my hand, and some guys will run a marker across the back to make it a little bit more of a two-tone effect. But I like it just the way it is. I think it does a nice job of imitating the tan bellies of those stonefly nymphs. But that's that golden stonefly nymph from Solitude. It's a great pattern, one of the most important patterns in my box. We're going to use this fly today, head downstream, and see if we can't find a couple of trout that are looking for that same golden stonefly nymph that's in my hand right there. Okay, good, and come on, and then you're going to come on up and fold him over. Yep, and it's got to come head first. Beautiful, yeah, he's on that golden stone, just like we thought, man. Oh, gosh, I'm not very strong with my left hand. Drop him in. Oh, nice, dude, on that golden stone, man. That thing is great. We're just, we caught that fish just right below where we did that video of screening those bugs out up there. Getting him released. That's a gorgeous trout. 